Hi guys, you are watching the RAM24.com channel and today we are going to the assemble Huawei Nova 12i. First we need to remove the SIM card tray. To do that we use a special SIM inject tool. We insert it into the pin hole and gently push the tray out. If the tray doesn't come out easily, you can use tweezers to help. Next, we need to heat the pack core to approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We are using a heating mat, but you can use a hairdryer instead. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to removing the back cover. To separate the back cover, we use a thin plastic film. We gently insert it into the gap between the back cover and the mid frame and try to lift and detach the back cover. In our case, the back cover is sealed with an adhesive. This is not factory glue and lifting the cover is extremely difficult. We are using a thin metal tool which is not recommended, just to create a small gap. Then we slide the plastic film along the edge, cutting through the adhesive. Next we need to cover the camera lenses to prevent dust from getting inside. We are using a special protective film for that. We are covering the camera lenses, so now we can move on to removing the screws in the top section. For this we use a 1.5mm Philips screwdriver or a Philips hash tool. We carefully unscrew the screws and place them on a dedicated surface. It is best to arrange them in a specific order to avoid mixing them up during the assembly. Sometimes screws don't fit properly into different holes. So keep track of where each one came from. Next we need to remove the top cover. We use a non-metal tool and gently try to lift the cover. Please not. For models like this, which have a lot of small openings, it is not recommended to use sealant when reattaching the back cover. Sealant can seep into the holes and make it difficult to remove the covers later on. But at the same time, the sealant itself isn't too difficult to remove. Next, we disconnect the battery connector using a non-metal tool and move on to removing the screws in the bottom section. Here again, we use a 1.5mm Philips screwdriver or Philips hash trio. It is a good idea to keep the screws separate from the top ones, just to be safe. After removing the screws, we need to detach the speaker module. Gently lift from the correct spot and separate the speaker block. In our case, removing this module can be tricky because sealant has seeped into the speaker's openings. Now carefully disconnect the speaker module, flip it over and we can see that the coaxial cable is connected to a small antenna board on this model. So it is best to first disconnect the interboard flex cable, free the coaxial cable from its channel, then unplug its connector from the main board and set the speaker block, antenna board and coaxial cable aside. Next, we need to disconnect the coaxial cable connector on the subboard. We carefully disconnect the connector, release the cable and now we can remove the subboard. Lift it from the correct spot and take it out. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone and the SIM card connector on the reverse side. What remains in the display frame is the vibration motor. And now for a quick test of the microphone opening, the microphone hole has an L shape, it is located in the display frame 
and it is protected from the inside by a gasket. The microphone itself is placed on the subboard behind the hole. This means that if you insert anything into the mic hole in the frame, you won't be able to damage the actual microphone. Now we are moving to the main board. First we need to disconnect the connectors. We can try to remove the camera, but for some reason it is not coming off. So we will take it out later if needed. Next we disconnect the small rear camera and carefully set it aside. We also remove the front facing camera and set that aside as well. Now we disconnect the coaxial cable connector and free the cable so it doesn't get in the way. Next we unscrew the single screw holding down the main board. Please note this screw is different from the others, so keep it separate. Once that is out, we can remove the main board. Gently pry it up from the edge, lift it and take it out. In this video we are not going to remove the battery, because it is very firmly glued in with adhesive. To remove it, we would first need to figure out where and how it is attached and what tools would be required. And that is the end. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video or on our Telegram channel or on our website. Ok guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.